This is a Fender 65 twin reverb amp, the reissue, and the owner brought it in for making weird, glitchy, ugly sounds. And I did a visual inspection, and while it has all the original caps, they all seem just fine. Or at least none of them are leaking. Uh, everything inside the amp seems fine, so I powered it on, went to play it a little bit. I had some uh, scratchiness on some pots and some uh, switches, the bright switches, no big deal. So I went through and started tapping all the tubes, starting from the preamp and working my way up to the output. All that was fine when the tube was cold. After the tube had been operating for a while, this one started doing that. That's an arc sound. And then that tube started making something awful happen inside it. So I decided just to power it off rather than see whether there'd be a light show at some point. We're just gonna get a new match quad of 6L6s here. First, let's make sure there's nothing wrong with the components mounted on that tube socket, the uh, screen grid and the grid stopper. All right, we wanna make sure we don't have any nasties in and around the tube socket, which could kill a new tube. So I've got the uh, center tap for the output transformer disconnected. I'll measure grid to plate, infinite. I'm gonna measure plate to heater, infinite, that's good. I'm going to measure across the screen grid resistor, should be 470 ohms, 466, that's within spec, and across the 1.5k grid stopper, 1.475. So that all seems okay. There no, doesn't seem to be any hidden gotchas in here. So uh, I don't think we're going to have a problem that'll hurt a new tube. I think we just have a problem with this one tube. And... Uh, it's mate. These are paired together here, these two. This one was just fine, so it's not a problem with the bias on that side. It's just a problem with one bad old Sovtec. Order some new tubes, pop them in there, bias it. All should be well, but we'll confirm. Well, now a few days later, it's got some TAD SDR Red Base 6L6s in there. I like the short bottles and combo amps. They're less prone to microphonics than the longer 6L6s. These are all great, no more issues. Uh, they're uh, amps biased about 53% dissipation. Once I got that done, I found that there was uh, rushing sounds that built as the amp had been on for a while. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take a, a genius to figure out on these Fender reissues that uh, the filter caps are the first place to, to go. So all those have been changed out for MODs. I've shown that plenty on other Fender reissue amps on the channel. I don't need to show all that, but uh, that was three hours ago and it's been on and none of the rushing water sounds have come back. The amp sounds great. I think the owner's gonna be very happy. <laughs> And it's just fun to play. Uh, all the noise you might have heard there is just because the pickups are about a foot from the transformer. That's just part of uh, playing on the bench. So I think the owner will be thrilled.